Hi, you are welcome to your favorite channel, Joy Learning, for another interesting topic in integrated science. In our previous lesson, we learned about some physical quantities. We learned that physical quantities are properties of matter that can be quantified by measurement. And we also saw that Physical quantities can be categorized into two. That is, base or fundamental quantities and derived quantities. And we also learned that there are seven base or fundamental quantities. These are mass, time, temperature, length electric current, luminous intensity, and amount of substance. And we also saw examples of derived quantities as area, volume, pressure, force, and so on and so forth. In today's lesson, We are going to look at some instruments that can be used to measure some of these physical quantities. Now, some of the instruments used to measure physical quantities are we have the vernier caliper, we have the micrometer screw gauge, we have tape measure, we have the meter rule, and we have Soviet measuring tape, and so on and so forth. Now, even though I don't have the actual instruments here, I would like to show you the pictures of some of these instruments. So look on your screen. Yes. On your screen, you have a picture of the vernier caliper. This instrument can be used to measure the internal and external diameter of cylindrical objects. The next picture shows the micrometer screw gauge, which can be used to even measure the, 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 the thickness of a sheet of paper and it will give you the accurate reading or the accurate measurement. On our screens again is the tape measure which is very common and I believe all of you have seen this. It is very common with carpenters and other artisans. We also have um, seamstresses and designers who also use another form of tape measure. Again, we have the meter rule. We call it meter rule because the length of this rule is exactly one meter, which is equivalent to 100 centimeters. And this is normally used in the classroom. That is the meter rule. The next picture on your screen is the surveyor's measuring tip. Surveyor's measuring tip. Normally, this is used to measure plots of land, size of fields, and so on and so forth. So that is the picture of the surveyor's measuring tip. We are now going to look at instruments that can be used to measure the mass of substances. Now, if you remember, we learned that mass is the amount of matter or material in a substance. And mass is measured in kilograms. Some of the instruments that we can use to measure mass are as follows. We have the electronic balance, 
we have the compression balance, we have the liver balance, we have the beam balance, and so on and so forth. Now let's go on and see the pictures of some of these instruments. The one we have on our screen is the electronic balance. Sometimes it is also referred to as top pan balance. This is used to measure the mass of a substance. We also have on our screen the compression balance. This is very common if you go to our market. If you buy meat, they use this to weigh the meat for you. So this is compression balance. It's an instrument for measuring the mass of a substance. Again, we have the lever balance. The lever balance, which is also used to measure the mass of substances. Yes, I think most of you might have seen this picture in your books, maybe on television, or might have seen it in reality. This is the beam balance. Beam balance. It's an old instrument that is used to measure mass of quantities. Now let's look at temperature. In our previous lesson, we learned that temperature is how hot or cold a substance is. And temperature is measured in Kelvin, which is the SI unit. Or sometimes it can also be measured in degree Celsius or degree Fahrenheit. Now the instrument for measuring temperature is the thermometer. And on our screen is the picture of a thermometer gun, which is now very common wherever you go because of the outbreak of COVID-19. So anywhere you enter, especially in institutions, you will be checked with the thermometer gun to make sure you have the right temperature before you enter. So this is the picture of a type of thermometer. Again, let's look at instruments for measuring volume. Volume. In our previous lesson, we learned that volume is the space occupied by matter. And the following instruments can be used to measure volume. We have the measuring cylinder. We have the beaker. We have the syringe. We have the pipette, and then we have the burette. Let's continue to see the pictures of these instruments. So on our screen is the measuring cylinder. You might have seen it in your school before. So this is the measuring cylinder. Our next picture is that of the beaker. Beaker, which is also used to measure volume of substances. Now, if you go to the hospital, one of the devices that they use to administer drugs into our system is the syringe. And before the syringe is used, the doctor will make sure he will measure the correct quantity of drug to inject you with. So this instrument is also used to measure volume. Pipette is another instrument used to measure volume of liquids. 
So we have different sizes of pipettes on your screens. Take a good look. We also have the burette. The burette is another instrument used to measure volume of liquids in the lab, especially during titration. During titration, it's a method used to mix or put together an acid and a base to form salt. So we have the burette. Let's look at another measuring instrument, which is anemometer. Anemometer is used to measure the speed of the wind. Speed of the wind. And there is the picture of anemometer. Our next instrument is the photometer, which is used to measure luminous intensity. That is the amount of light on the surface. And that is the picture of photometer. We can also talk of the spring balance, the spring balance, which is an instrument for measuring weight of a substance, weight of a substance. And that is a picture of a spring balance. Now let's look at time. We are all aware that the instrument for measuring time is the watch. But we know that the SI unit for time is the second. And the instrument that will help us to measure time in seconds is either the stopwatch or the stop clock. Now, on your screen is the picture of a stop watch so that is a stop watch for measuring time in seconds now we also have a stop clock a stop clock another instrument for measuring time in seconds Now, let me evaluate what you, we've studied so far. So, I'm going to give you just five questions. Let's quickly go through. It says, name the instrument or instruments you would use to measure. One, height of a table. Height of a table. Two, time, time. Three, volume of a liquid, volume of a liquid. Four, thickness of a sheet of paper, thickness of a sheet of paper. And then five, speed of the wind just take two minutes to quickly write the answers down right i hope you've been able to jot something down so let's quickly go through the questions so that you can mark for yourself Name the instrument or instruments you will use to measure one height of a table. I think we learned that 
the instrument that we can use to measure length includes a tape measure, a meter rule, surveyors measuring tape, and so on and so forth. But for a height of a table, it will not really be appropriate to use surveyors measuring tape. So among the instruments and the length, I think the appropriate one would be the tape measure. Then, instruments for measuring time. I think we made mention of the stopwatch or the stop clock. Then number three, instrument for measuring volume of liquid. And we mentioned the measuring cylinder, the beaker, the burette, the pipette, and so on and so forth. And number four, thickness of a sheet of paper. The thickness of a sheet of paper. And the best instrument that can be used to measure this is the micrometer screw gauge. The micrometer screw gauge. Then our last question, the instrument for measuring speed of the wind. The instrument for measuring speed of the wind, which is the anemometer. Anemometer. Let's quickly go over what we've learned so far. We've seen some instruments for measuring physical quantities. And some are... We've seen the instrument for measuring length. For example, the surveyor's measuring tape, the tape measure, and the meter rule. For time, we've seen the stopwatch and then the stop clock. And then for mass, we've seen instruments like the electronic balance, compression balance, the labor balance, and so on and so forth. For volume, we've seen the syringe, the burette, the pipette, measuring cylinder, we've seen the beaker, and so on. And with temperature, We've seen the thermometer. Weight. We've seen the spring balance. And then last and not the least, wind speed. We've seen the anemometer. I would like, you, I would like to show you the pictures of the instruments we talk about today. So let's quickly run through them. So on your screen is the vernier caliper, the micrometer screw gauge, the measuring, the tape measure, the meter rule, surveyors measuring tape, the electronic balance, the compression balance, the lever balance, the beam balance, the thermometer gun, 
Measuring cylinder. Beaker. Syringe. Pipette. Burret. Animometer. Photometer. Stopwatch. And then the stop clock. I believe you enjoyed today's lesson. Stay glued to your favorite channel, Joy Learning, for more interesting lessons. See you next time for another interesting topic. Bye-bye.